Hi folks, today we're going to talk about gyroscopes, antique gyroscopes. This was new technology 30 years ago when I worked at Craft Systems. The servo feedback principle is still used today, but lighter and with no moving parts using piezo sensors. You know, while I was looking for the parts to make a power pod for my glider and a different fuselage, I was looking through my equipment and I found an old-fashioned very old from the early days gyroscope we are not going to interrupt this record I want to show you how this actually works with the radio yes we are now, if you don't know how the gyroscope works or what it is take a look at my blade 400 right here you'll see how small the new gyroscopes are they have no moving parts their sensors are done by measuring the earth in relation to this using magnetism now the way it works is if you get a gust of wind hit your helicopter or you jerk too much then the gyroscope senses that movement, makes the servo move in the opposite direction. This helps you a lot when you're, especially when you're learning, because the tail is very much the twitchy part. So let's take a look at this antique radio system right here. This is an AM receiver versus what they are mostly FM now. This is the gyroscope. The gyro has a real moving set of weights here and as the gyro gets jerked around it adjusts this potentiometer which has got a separate wire running into the servo this is an old craft servo that I'm going to show you here this is what they look like inside there's the actually the old amplifier and the big motors and the feedback pot right there here's one of the newer servos the servos that we used for the tail rotor had to have a, a separate set of wires that came out. It's hooked to the feedback pot here and come out and actually go to this. So not only did we have the wire from the uh, into the rudder channel, but also we have the wires, and I've just got them shortened here so you can see them, uh, connected to the feedback pot in here. And the way this works is if you move this back and forth you can see that pot moving down there and that adjusts the pot inside the servo thus compensating so let's go ahead and put the power onto it here now a big drawback is this thing draws a lot of power you can see the motor moving now now I still have left and right on my servo the rudder here you can see it working but when I move the gyroscope like it would in the helicopter, which would be this way, you can see the compensation on the servo. It doesn't take much, it doesn't give you too much, just enough. And when you adjust the gain on your servos like these, you'll see that that will move more or less on the servo. So it's pretty basic, but I gotta tell you what, this thing used batteries like you can't believe on a helicopter. Twenty years ago we didn't have LiPo batteries. This is very heavy in comparison to uh, the gyros today. In fact, the four screws in this <laughs> uh, cr old craft servo here is uh, probably more heavier than this whole servo itself. There's a newer version servo go ahead and plug this in right now too and this is the new servo how it works
Well, we've come a long way since the days of the early equipment and this old-fashioned gyroscope for helicopters was uh, really uh, super modern technology at the time. And uh, just thought I'd show you how it, how it actually works and how it compares to, for example, the gyroscope of the newer helicopters like this Blade 400. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little history lesson and give you an idea how things were in the old days.